senior pastor of Gola Ministries. Oh, we are continuing with our series talking about the overcomer's reward. The overcomer's reward. There is a reward that is promised to those that overcome. Listen to the book of Revelations. We will start from verse 7 today. He says, look, he is coming with clouds, talking about Jesus, and every eye will see him, even those that pierce him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. He says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, who is and was and is to come, the Almighty, the Almighty, Thank you, Lord Jesus, the Almighty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Check this. He says he is coming with clouds. He is coming with clouds. What does it mean? You see, Jesus Christ is coming back. But he says he is coming with clouds. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. And, you know, when the Bible talks about clouds, listen to what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. He said, Therefore, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, so when the Bible talks about cloud here that Jesus is coming with, is not talking about the cloud, the clouds that we see in the sky, but it's talking about the cloud of witnesses, which are the people. Oh, the, the, listen to this other translation, explains it very well. Hebrews 11 verse 1, he says, As for us, we have this large crowd of witnesses around us. We have this crowd of witnesses around us. He says, we have a cloud of witnesses around us. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. So then, let us run, let us rid ourselves of everything that gets in the way and of sin which holds on to us so tightly and let us run with determination the race that is that lies before us so he said there's a race before us check this he said there's a cloud of witnesses those that have gone with us those that have obtained testimonies those that have something to show us that when we walk by faith the victory is assured for us oh thank you lord jesus check this let me read for you Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. I'll read from verse 35. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, Women received their dead back raised to life, and those who were tortured, not accepting deliverance, Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me do this. Let me start from verse 32. Verse 32. And see what he says. Verse 32. And he says, What then shall I more say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon. He's telling of the cloud of witnesses. So many. You see, when Paul wrote uh, this book, when the Bible talks about cloud of great cloud of witnesses, those days in Rome, people will be sitting in the stadium watching uh, the games that they were watching these games they were looking like a great cloud so 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 this is a, this is a cloud of witnesses of people who have a testimony of walking in faith and overcoming check this he says what shall i say he says time will fail time will fail me to tell of gideon and of Barak, and of samson and of jephthah of david also and of samuel and of the prophets Oh, verse 33. He says, Who through faith subdued kingdoms? Oh, hallelujah. He said, The same way they conquered kingdoms, we also, when we hold on like them and we walk by faith like them, we will conquer kingdoms. He said, The righteousness obtained promises. Check this. He says, If we believe like them, we will receive testimonies and promises the same way they receive. He says, Stop the, the, the mouth of lions. You remember Shadrach, Meshach, uh, 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 remember uh, Daniel who stopped 
the lions. He was thrown into the den of lions, but lions couldn't touch him. Oh, why? Because of faith. These are all the cloud of witnesses. Verse 34, he says, quench the violence of fire. That is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were thrown into the fire because they refused to bow. They refused to worship the image. You know, this day there are so many images that, that, that they want us to worship. But we cannot worship. We cannot bow. We bow only to one God. And that is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And the Alpha and the Omega, the God Almighty, is the only one that we worship. Check this. He says, they escaped the edge of sword. And he said, out of weakness, we're made strong. <laughs> Woo! He said, words violent in flight tend to flight the armies of aliens. Oh, verse 35. He says, women received their dead raised to life again. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. That's the power of faith. Oh, he says, others were tortures, not accepting deliverance, that they may, might obtain a better resurrection. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, others had trial of cruel mockings and scorchings, yet he, said, he says, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Talk about the, the great cloud of witnesses who received testimonies, who refused to bow, who refused to surrender. And the Bible said, Jesus is coming with them. When he comes, is coming with them. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Those are the witnesses that received him when he was raised from death, from death and was taken to heaven. Listen to what the Bible says in the, book, in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 9. And it says, When they had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. The cloud received him. It is not a physical cloud. It was a cloud of witnesses that received Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he says, while they looked steadfastly towards heaven, as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, when which said, you men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up in heaven? This same Jesus, this same Jesus, woo, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go in heaven. He said the same way he was received with the clouds in heaven is the same way he will come. Oh, glory. Listen to what Jude chapter 1 verse 14 says. And he says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. He cometh with the ten thousands of his saints with a cloud of witnesses. Oh, hallelujah. That's why we cannot give up. That's why we cannot give in. That's why we cannot surrender. Why? Because those that have gone before us, they have conquered. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. They have shown us how to win. They have shown us how to overcome. They have shown us how to receive our reward. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. He said, For the Lord himself, oh, hallelujah, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him, with them in the clouds. To meet the Lord in the air, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Oh, glory. Check this. We will also one day catch up and caught, be caught up together with those witnesses. Oh, what a day. What a day. Oh, glory. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Check this. He says, every eye shall see him. You know, every eye shall see him. You know, the, the, the way they, it, it, it doesn't have to, it's not a physical sight. But it has to do with an understanding that the day is coming where everyone will understand that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. He said they shall mourn because they now understand what it means coming means. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Check this. Oh, thank you, Lord. Then verse 12. Revelation chapter 1 verse 12. He says, I turn around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw 
seven golden lamps. So John, he says, he turned to see, not with his physical eyes, he turned as if it was physical, but as he turned, he saw with his spiritual eyes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When we tend to see God, we see him through his word. We always see Jesus through his word. When we tend to the word, we see him. That testifies of his greatness. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Check this. He says, I'm Alpha and the Omega. I'm Alpha and Omega. The word Alpha, it just means A and Omega means Z. Actual Alpha and Omega are the alphabet, are the first and last alphabet of Greek. So he says, I'm Alpha and the Omega. And the word also means the first and the last and the beginning and the end. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, Jesus is appearing to these Christians. They are suffering. They are asking themselves, why are we so suffering? As he appears to them, he tells them that I'm Alpha and Omega. I'm A and Z. Oh, I'm the beginning and the end. There's nothing to fear. I am in, I'm in charge. I'm in control of everything, even of the kings of the earth. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, glory. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 4. He says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He's talking about Jesus Christ. He says, he was with God in the beginning. He said, through him all things were made and without him was not anything made that was made. And in him was life and that life was the light of mankind. Check this. He says he's the everything. He is everything. There's nothing to be afraid. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 15 to 18. Colossians 1, 15 to 18. He says, who is the Im image of the invisible God? It's talking about Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. If you want to see God, see Jesus. He says, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were all things created in heaven and upon the, and upon the earth. And things visible and things invisible. <laughs> oh, glory. Check this. He said, whether there be throne, thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things have been created through, through him and unto him. And he is before all things. Oh, oh. And in him all things consist. Oh, did you hear that? You see, he says, Jesus, he says, whether they are dominions, whether they are forces of darkness, or whether they are any, any other kingdoms, any other powers, or anybody, he says, it doesn't matter who they are. Jesus Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, is the first and the last. He said, all things come by him. And we say, without him, there was not anything that was made. That was made. He says, everything consists in him. What does it mean? Which means in Christ Jesus, everything finds its identity. Remove Jesus Christ. Everything is out of course and everything is out of order and everything is out of its identity. Oh, that's why when people don't know Jesus Christ, oh, the two things that we wonder, they come out of the way. They come out of what God has made them to be. Why? Because everything finds its identity in him. He says, I'm Alpha and the Omega. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Ooh. Oh, glory. Listen to what he says. And he says, he is the head of the body, the church. Check this. Jesus, he does everything for the church and through the church. So the church is in charge. That's why as long as we are here as the church, Antichrist cannot have dominion. Forces of darkness cannot have dominion. Why? Because we are in charge. He says he has given us power to tread on scorpions and serpents and over every power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory. Listen to what he says. He says he is the head of the church, he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. In all things he might be the head, he might be the first. Jesus Christ is the first and the last in all things. You see, there's nothing to be afraid of. Listen to what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Hebrews 1, verse 1, verse 1 to 4. He says... 
in the past God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. Through the prophets at many times and in various ways. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. He says God spoke through our ancestors. He spoke through the, to, to those witnesses, to Abraham, to Isaac, uh, to Jacob, to, 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 I, to, to Elisha, to Elijah, to all those, to Isaiah. He said he spoke to them. He said, but no, 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 now things have changed. But check this. He said, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. <laughs> he said, Jesus Christ, now speak to us by his son. By him, he, he made all things. He speaks to us by his son. You see, that's why it's very much important to know Jesus. Why? Because everything that God does, he does it through his son. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Check this. He says, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. Oh, he said, the son is the radiance of God's glory, and the exit of the expression, the, represent, the representation of his being. Oh, sustaining all things by his powerful word. Check this. God sustains all things by his powerful word. He said, forever, oh God, your word is settled in heaven. Check this. He says, as long as you have the word of God, you will be sustained through all persecution. You will be sustained from all opposition. You will be sustained from everything that will come on your way. Through the word of God, you will be sustained. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory. He says, after he had provided and purification for sins, he set him down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So, he became as much as superior to the angels and the name he has inherited is superior to theirs. Check this. He said, Jesus is superior to the angels. He is superior to everything. And he said, even his name is superior to everything. But check this. He has given us that name. The name of Jesus now is, in the, is our name. We function in that name. The Bible says, in that name of Jesus, everything will bow of things in heaven. Check this. This is the most powerful th name in heaven, the most powerful name on earth. And he says even under the earth, which means in hell, which means in the angelic realm, the name of Jesus is the only recognized name. In the earth, the name of Jesus is the only name. Under the earth, the name of Jesus is the only name that has power. It has power over that situation. It has power over that disease, over that pain. It has power over any affliction in your life when you have that name. Oh, hallelujah. When you read the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 17, he says, in my name. He started by saying in the verse 16 that these signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, in my name. In that name, there is that victory. Check this, when we are in that name, which is superior to all things, the Alpha and the Omega, you have power over everything. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please go ahead and contact us in those numbers that are showing on your, on your screen. We want to pray with you. If you're going through any trouble, it doesn't matter what it is. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ, we have victory in the name of Jesus. Please go ahead. Go ahead and pray this prayer. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. After me, pray this prayer. Say, Father God, I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ. I thank you that he died for me. Today, I receive him as my Lord and my Savior. I thank you that is the Alpha and the Omega of my life and is in charge of everything in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, you are now born again. You see, it's very easy. The Bible says with the heart, Romans chapter 10, when you read verse 9 and 10, it says with the heart, man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, and confession is made unto salvation. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, if you are sick, if you are going in any trouble, if you are in any kind of need, I want to pray for you now. If you are sick, hold your hand. Put your hand where there is a pain. Anything that is happening in your life, or put your hand in your chest, I'm going to pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for you. I come against that disease. I come against that pain. I come against that affliction. What, whatsoever it is that is holding you, I command it to lose you. In the name of Jesus, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I speak healing. I speak healing. I command that demon out of your child, out of your home, out of your business, out of your marriage, out of everything that concerns you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I speak a blessing over you. In Jesus' mighty name, please go ahead and contact us on those numbers that are showing on the screen. God bless you. Bye.